everyone, Aram here for all to new. Welcome to another session of Creative Coloring with Aram. Where today I have another very easy watercolor tutorial to share with you, featuring some old and some new products by all to new. Today's project features the painted flower stem set. I will stem several of these flowers and leaves on watercolor paper by Canson. The watercoloring technique that I'm sharing today is called splattering. But this is slightly different kind of splattering from what I do on my cards. It is the kind of splattering I do when I am watercoloring my messy backgrounds. So I have separated the stamped leaves from the flowers. Some of the flowers on here have leaves and I'll come to that bit later. For now, I'll use my watercolor palette to avoid the mess and spray the stamped piece of watercolor paper generously with water. I'll also spray some water behind the paper so it doesn't curl and sticks nicely to the watercolor palette. Next, I'll use a bit of diluted coral berry pigment from the 36 pan watercolor set and add splatters of this on the already wet watercolor paper. I will be using a mix of orange, yellow and pink today and I'll keep on adding the splatters till I'm happy with the result. This is totally up to you. If you want a very subtle look, and um, then you go for diluted watercolors, exactly like what I'm doing right now. If you want your splatters to be more visible, then you can dry the first layer and add a second layer of splatters for a more dramatic effect. Just the way I colored the flowers, the leaves will be colored in the same manner. This type of easy watercolor is something that you can teach your kids to and ask them to join uh, you when you are coloring a larger panel. I'm sure it will create some interesting looking images uh, with some really cool colors. After my panels are dry, I'll come back to the flower panel and I'm going to add diluted splatters of coral berry, lemon mist and warm sunshine. I will use a heat gun to completely dry this and then use a evergreen and bamboo watercolors to color in the leaves roughly. There's no detailing here, remember that. This is fun watercolor and these leaves have to match the same look. So I just uh, will be filling these in without giving it much thought. I'll do the same on the leaves panel, that is add a few extra splatters for interest and dry the panel completely. After this, I'll fussy cut all the images and start working on the next step. So the next step, you know how I love my lacy windows and frames, right? And it has been a while since I've made one. So I thought I'd make one for this card today and I'll be using the new circle quilt cover die, which is absolutely beautiful, intricate uh, cover die and uh, this oval from the Create a Wreath die set. If you have watched me do this before, then you already know that I will apply adhesive to one of the oval frames and place it on the quilt die cut. I'm placing it on the, uh, the extreme corner so that I can get two pieces out of this die cut. Next, I'll snip off the excess and adhere the remaining oval behind um, it to make it uh, a bit, the, uh, sorry, the frame a bit more sturdy. I'll apply thin strips of foam tape behind the oval frame all around it. You can convert it into a shaker too if you want to. You'll just have to add a uh, layer of acetate. For my card front, I'll uh, first add very fine uh, black paint splatters from the 36 pan watercolor set. Then I'll adhere the lacy oval uh, frame onto the uh, card front. After this, I'll start arranging all the flowers and leaves on foam tape. Some on two layers of foam tape, some on one layer and most of the leaves I will be glued directly. In the end, I'll uh, add a sentiment and also some gold confetti for bling. And that is all for today. I hope you liked today's project. I'll see you all uh, very soon. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye.